Hi everybody, so today is Friday, um, it's August the 26th, and this is going to be my 33 week pregnancy update video. I'm not officially 33 weeks, I'm 32 weeks and 6 days, I'll be 33 weeks tomorrow, on Saturday, but um, since I don't have anything to do right now, and I'm bored, and I don't know if I'll be in the mood tomorrow to make work at Subway. Um, I plan on probably going on maternity leave on September 17th, but I want to go until October 1st, and I will be 28 weeks on October 1st. Uh, September 17th, I think I will be um, 30, I mean 36 weeks pregnant. Yeah, I think so. I forgot, but you know, you guys can count it up. I forgot, but I want to go until October 1st. I'm due October 15th. If you guys forgot. Um, what else? Yeah, so I want to keep working. I feel like I can. I'm finally really getting big. Everybody's noticing that. And then everybody's like, oh my god, you just got big so fast. I mean, not so fast, but you know, like, big out of nowhere. And it's just like, I feel so huge. It's crazy. But I'm not that, that big. And my stomach looks different. And it's just, my stomach getting dark. And it's like, ah, oh, so I'm just ready for this month to be over so I can have my baby shower and then once I have my baby shower see what all I have for her and everything and then just get everything set up and then I can start washing her clothing and then start getting it put away and just have everything done you know I just want this month to be over and then my baby shower to be over and then I just get stuff ready so um what else um I don't never feel sick or anything I haven't got any stretch marks. My feet don't get swollen. It seems like my face kind of got fat. Like, look at my face. I think it got fat. You know, not fat, but, you know, like, chubby. I already have, like, a chubby face because of my cheeks. But it seems like, um, now it seems like my my face got a little bit chubby. And my, my face looks dull sometimes. Sometimes I will wear makeup now because my face doesn't look the same to me anymore. I eat a lot. I don't eat too, too much to the point it's like, stop eating just at the back. I eat a lot. Like, I'm always hungry. I'm always going downstairs to get something to eat. And I be thirsty a lot. So I make sure I drink some water. Like, I have this, I have this thing with water. And I just like to, I like to drink, like, fluids lately. And I just, you know, I don't know. I just be thirsty a lot. And I try to eat healthy. I try to eat oranges drink orange juice, I try to eat eggs, um, fruits, I drink, I like to drink milk, what else is good for the baby, um, vegetables, sometimes I will try to eat vegetables from, you know, work, Subway, you know, Subway has a lot of vegetables, and I just try to make sure I eat as much healthy things, as much good things for her, because, you know, this is her, this is her last, this is my last trimester. You know, right now, it's very important um, what I eat. I mean, I still eat things that I like to eat. You know, I still eat, like, takeout food, fast food, and stuff like that. But other than that, I try to get in things that are good for her. You know, good things that are for her brain and for her skin and for everything, you know. Because I heard, I think I read on one of these little app things that I get delivered to my phone that eggs are good for something, you know. So I've been trying to eat, you know, eggs sometimes. And Subway has eggs in in the morning, and I work in the morning to the afternoon at Subway, so I would eat some eggs at there, and sometimes I would make eggs at home. At first, my pregnancy didn't, like, affect my body or anything, but now it seems like lately I'm getting tired. Like, it's, I can just feel it. Feel the stomach, feel like it's weighing me down, it's starting to get heavy. Um, it's not too heavy. I can still, you know, I can still manage. But I think I knew this was going to happen because I wasn't that big at first. I'm getting big, like, out of nowhere. Like, it's crazy. It's weird. It's like, wow. Like, I just blew up, like, overnight or something. And, yeah. Um, we haven't, uh, Braxton Hicks contractions. I mean, to be saying, I thought they hurt or whatever, but I don't know if this really is what I'm feeling, but it's like this weird feeling 
that I be having, and I think that is what it is. I think it is Braxton Hicks contractions. I don't know. I gotta find out. I'll figure it out when I go to the doctor. I go to the doctor next month, October 16th. I got three appointments in that same day. I have to be there till nine o'clock in the morning till one something. You know, after because I have my third appointment at one p.m. So my first appointment is for a whole monitor. I have to get another whole monitor because the last one. It was defective or something like that, and they couldn't read it. So I have to get another whole tomorrow. You know, you guys know I hate wearing those things. Then after that appointment, I gotta go to the pediatric clinic. You know, that's where the kids go. But sometimes I still go there because that's where my doctors sometimes are. It's for my um <sighs> my cardiologist for my heart is sometimes there. So I have to go to them, and I'm going to get a um. Um, what's it called? It's a, um, I think a, a echo ultrasound. Something like that. It's something for the baby. And, um, after that appointment, I go to the OB-GYN, and I just get a uh, spoke consult, like, you know, just to hear the baby's heartbeat, and, um, they want to check up on me, and my heart, and all that type of stuff, you know. Just all that in one day. Like, I'm glad they put it in one day, because I don't want to miss too much work. Um... I got her this diaper bag from Marshalls. I don't like colorful, pink looking, looking like a baby diaper bag type of stuff. So this is why the reason why I had to forever to get me a diaper bag is because I wanted a diaper bag that looks like a purse, but it's a diaper bag. And I got found this one, looks like this, and you might think it's a purse, but it's really a diaper bag. And this little part right here, you know, for the bottles. And it's really big. Like you can fit a lot of stuff in here. And it's baby fat. I don't like baby fat. You know, I've just never. You know, when it first came out, you know, I, you know, it was really popular. But I don't wear baby fat. But to me, it's like, who cares? You know, this purse is so cute. Like this is how it really looks so close. And it has like a little um, you know, the little cat right there. I think it's Sean there and so it has these two straps and then it has a strap right here it's big the bigger strap for you know so it can make it longer and it's like I'm out of breath inside it's like really big really big and then it has this little thing and I think it's important when you change them you know when you lay them down or something you don't have to put them on nothing dirty or stuff like that so, it has a little baby fat logo right there, and, and I got this from Marshalls, yeah, Marshalls, and I already put this in here, but it doesn't have no wipes in it, got this from the dollar store, Minnie Mouse, and I just put it in there just to put it in there, and then I got these, these Kleenex, because the pack of three, put it in here, you know, just in case, I seen these when I was at Target, and I put this in here, because you know, you know how, baby spit up and you make little they make little messes and stuff and I got this little tie thing to put in here, you know, just a couple of things are in here just to put in here for right now. And then at Marshall's also, um, I got her these little sandals. Even though it's about to be the winner, but still I thought they were cute because they were cheap. And I got these ones. These are three to six months little silver sandals. They're so little. And these were only three dollars. Three dollars. And then these ones, these ones, so these are pretty big. And these are rock wear. And I don't wear rock wear either, you know, because they're I don't really wear them anymore. But so what? I don't care. They're still cute. And these were two dollars from Marshalls. So, and they look like that on the bottom. With the rock wear stuff on it. But yeah, I thought these was really cute. And then I went to TJ Maxx. And I got her these socks. They look like this. They're Nike. So I thought these were really cute. And this was $5.99. Let me show you the price. $5.99 from TJ Maxx. And then I have these other ones. From Nike. It has a little Nike sign on it. They were also... $5.99. $5.99. So, 
So yeah, I have other stuff, but I just want to show you guys this stuff because this stuff was cute. So yeah, you can wait for my baby shower to see what I what I get. And yeah, um, what else can I say? Uh. I don't know. I still, I still don't weigh a lot. I haven't even, uh, I don't know if my scale is off a little bit, but I seem like I should probably weigh 140 now. But the last time I went to the doctor, which was on the, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> um, I forgot what day it was, but I think it was like two weeks ago. I weighed 138.2, and I should weigh 140 by now. Um, so my weight is going up and up and up but it's not that much you know um so yeah everything's been pretty good i don't feel i don't ever get sick sometimes i get sick like sometimes i out of nowhere and but it won't last long or anything like that and um so yeah maybe <laughs> i'll I be feeling her like i don't want to say it but it feel like i can just feel her right there in my coochie or something like I swear to you, it feels like that all the time. It, 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 it's like so much pressure right there. And she moves so much, it just works my nerves. It makes me crazy. And it's like, come on, little girl, stop moving. And she moves. I mean, it's good that she moves because that means that she's okay, you know. But I'm telling you, she moves so much. I never knew that babies move that much. Like, when she, when she was little, like, when I was, like, in the beginning of the pregnancy, she barely moved, you know, like, barely, every once in a while, but now she's always moving, like, right now she's not moving, like, no, she's not moving, so, and at night, when it's like, well, one, two o'clock in the morning, she's always woke, moving, like, crazy, sometimes we have, having, like, some hits, some, like, some really powerful hits from her, and it's hard for me to sleep. So I'll be up till like two something. I mean like one something in the morning having to force myself to sleep. And I will be up on Twitter and Facebook just writing stuff and if you're like, You ain't sleep like I can't sleep. I was always around one o'clock, twelve o'clock in the morning. She's up kicking me, hitting me, or whatever she's doing, moving around, whatever. I don't know what she's doing, but she she keeps me up every single morning. And I have to wake up at I wake up at um 12 something in the morning, I mean, not 12 something in the morning, 7 something in the morning, because I got to get to work at 10 o'clock in the morning, so I'm always woke, sometimes, barely, I will, um, be able to sleep, like, it's like every day, like, no day has passed when I haven't, like, this whole week, I've been up to 1 o'clock in the morning, and I would just be like, okay, you know what, I need to turn everything off, I need to just lay here, just make myself go to sleep. If she woke, and that's her problem. <laughs> you know, she's gonna be up by herself. So, yeah. Um, I think that's it. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'm just excited. It's almost, she's almost here. I'm just, I'm just so happy. Like, like I can't believe it. She's almost here. Um, so yeah. If you guys wanna keep updates on when I go into labor, you know, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, because I'm going to try to tweet about it, if I can, you know, or I'll have somebody tweet it for me, you know, somebody have my phone, and that's it, just make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, um, yeah, the, the, um, link to my Twitter will be in the down bar, so I'm going to show you guys my belly now, okay, let me scoot my chair back. Okay. I want to make sure I'll be able to see what I'm doing. So. Here's my belly. On the left side. And it's just getting so big, right? Like, and it's hard. You can just see my belly button. Open up. It's just so weird to me. I swear. 
I'm still little. Like, look at my legs. Like, I'm still little. I have no little booty or nothing. But, yeah, that's my belly. No stretch marks. I don't know if you guys see it because, like, the light and stuff like that. But, yeah. I don't think my stomach is crooked. I just think that's how my line is just going thick right here. But, yeah. So, that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to try to keep you guys posted, like, these next couple of weeks. You know, I don't want to try. I'm going to try and keep it consistent. I want to, um, keep y'all updated, like, week for week, these past couple, I mean, these next last couple of weeks, because, you know, at this time, everything's going to be changing. Everything's going to be, like, harder and just it's, it's, it's not the fact that I'm scared to go into labor because of the pain or anything I'm also scared because of my heart there's so many people that have uh, it's so many women have died because um, um, from giving birth to their baby you know what I mean so I'm scared of that I think about that I'm scared that like, I just want her to be healthy you know I want her to be healthy. That's all I've been thinking about lately. Like, please let her be healthy. That's all I want. She could be an ugly ass baby. I don't give a damn. She don't have to have no hair. She don't have. She 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 she, she, she can be just so ugly. You know what I mean? I don't care how she looks. Cause she's gonna be my daughter. To me, she's gonna be beautiful. To other people, she might be ugly. I don't care. I just want her to be healthy. And I just want everything to be smooth. And um. Yeah, I just hope I don't die. <laughs> I'm just playing, but, um, yeah, cause, because the problem with my heart, you know, you never know what's going to happen. I never know if I'm going to have a C-section. I never know if she's going to be, you know, feet down first. Or, if, you know, you never know. Like, I just want to keep you guys posted and updated, like, because this Echo Ultrasound, I really don't know what they do for that ultrasound. So, you know, I'm anxious to see what happens, you know, so, yeah. Just keep you guys... Keep me in you guys' prayers. Keep me and Jasmine in you guys' prayers. Just hope that everything goes planned. Like, sorry. Safe delivery. She's healthy. And everything. As soon as she come out, um, take a picture. None of you guys see her. I'm sending them on Twitter, Facebook, putting them on YouTube, everywhere, you know. Because I want everybody to meet my baby, you know, so. Yeah. Um, that's it. See you guys in another video. Bye.